I just patched up this uh, cement porch and I used Portland and just painted the steps. I used cement tile, got the big holes, and then I just painted it, the sides, with a mixture of Portland and mortar uh, to make it look original. So it's a quick patch job. I'm going to show you how I did it. Now today's job, we're going to just patch it up. That's all. Uh, I want to make a couple points. See the wire mesh here. You see the wire mesh down here? Oh, it all falls apart. Wire mesh is not always the answer. I mean, sometimes you use it and sometimes you don't. And they say use dimple wired mesh. Well, I can't really agree with that, but they say that's what you got to use. And these steps. I'm just going to, the whole thing I'm going to do today is just patch it up. That's it. Let me show you how I did it. Now, all I'm going to do, see the whole thing's loose because of the wire mesh. I'm just going to patch it up, that's all. Just get all the loose stuff off. See where it's bad? The whole thing's moving. I ain't ripping the whole thing off. Just going to patch up underneath it and someday when it's bad again, then we'll fix it. And then just wire brush it off. That's all. Now we're looking at the steps and we've got these cracks. These pop marks, that means it's falling apart. We're just going to do the same thing. We're going to use the wire brush first. Just like on my steps video. Get all the stuff off. And then I'll show you what we're going to do. Now I'm just getting my bag of rapid set mortar mix. This stuff dries real fast. I'll use that for the bottom. Then I'm just going to add a little water. Mix it up. Mix my rapid set all up. First thing I want to do is attack the, the steps. So you gotta wa wash them down, basically, after wire brushing, just like on my step videos. And get this stuff, even with your tailor, just get it in all those those holes. So all we're doing now is we're filling in the holes before. We paint it with pork. That's all we're doing. And then we want to kind of get it smooth. So we run our sponge over it like that. See that? We're just running our sponge over Just like on my stuff videos. Oh, rough stuff right off of it. Just so it fills the holes in. Like that. Now, what we're going to do is we want to wet it up good first. And then we're going to use our cement doll. Go right over the top of it. That's it. Remember, everything got to be wet. Now I get my bucket of water and my sponge. Okay. Usually I don't use a sponge float, but I stepped back and I looked at it. It wasn't as flat as I wanted it. I don't like using a sponge float because 
some menthol kills it. All right, here, here's another piece of plaster that fell away from the wall. And if you notice, what it is is it's wire mesh. Wire mesh ain't always the right thing to do. So let me set the camera up here so you can see it. This is the foundation. This kind of foundation right here, back in the old coal mining days, and you could actually see the coal in it. See the coal in it? There was so much coal around there, they used everything. So the weather got to it. So just like every other job, I'm just gonna get away to loose stuff and bad stuff. And then we're gonna patch it up. That's it. Now I already wire brushed it. You know all my videos I keep wetting it. I'm using cement all. Dries fast. Throw it in there. As long as it wait, as long as it's wet, it'll stick. So I'm packing it in there. You know you see some plaster guys use uh a hawk and everything, but that's a it's actually a different trade. And then cement all cement all wrap it set that really dries quick. And this is just a patch. We just rub the sponge over it. And that's it. Now if you get a big hole behind the steps. You kind of kind of build it out a little bit. And, uh, you start with this stuff. You got to get it in there. Make sure you wet it first. And you slowly build it out like that. See how I'm building it out? Now let that set up like that. And then next time I come back we ready to fill in. Yep. And then second time you put it in. What's that? And then we just run the sponge around it. There the hole is sealed. That way it's sticking mostly to the foundation and not to the step because the steps move in the winter time. I'm doing my steps. Uh, just about an hour later and I'm just putting on a little water. You can't put the Portland on dry. It has to be on something wet. So the first thing I do is I wet it down. Then I mix my Portland up just like on the other videos. And just paint it on right over the top of the wetness. If it ain't wet, it's not going to stick. And that's going to fill in all them little nooks and crannies and holes and then you do that in the spring and you do that in the fall, it usually holds up pretty good. All I'm doing is basically whitewashing it. I mixed up Portland like I always do. A whitewashed Portland, but also I mix some mortar in it. So a half mortar and half Portland. Got to wet it down good enough where you can keep going with it. Because that's all I got, there's no hose here. And then, out of my paint, just whitewashing it. That's all I'm doing. Makes it look like the whole thing was plastered and it's not. It's just renewed, that's all. It's like a paint job.